Cadence of Conflict, Asia, October 8, 2018. China's political socio-economic worldview is that of a zero-sum game. It has played its socio-economic game that way for decades. Now it must empty its reserve coffers to keep its zero-sum game strategy from sinking too fast. This means that it can't use those coffers if a military conflict arose. The United States knows this. Don't be fooled. The U.S. strategy is to provoke China into a conflict sooner than it wants. In the Western view, China has shown how it will behave by showing how it has behaved more and more. This is enough to warrant preemptive agitation for the Western taxpayer. In China's view, the world has failed to bestow on China what China deserves, because China rightly deserves what it deserves. China can't lose. Interpol has now gotten whatever international attention against China's favor that Hong Kong malcontents did not. With the disappearance of Interpol's president into China, whoever didn't care about so-called Chinese aggression does now. China's government thinks they sent a message to the world. They did. But the message received is probably not the message that was intended. As the Pacific conflict escalates, the U.S.-Taiwan aggravation strategy moves into more military cooperation. Unprecedented was the word of the week. And everyone knows what it means just as much as everyone knows why, and that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.